Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're gonna install an Ace Hardware branded exterior doorknob. Let's go outside and get started. All right, DIYers, here we are at the exterior door of our garage, and this is an Ace Hardware entry door lock set, and we are going to open it up and show you how to install it. And in a previous video, which is scrolling above, we showed you how to remove that door handle. That is long gone, and in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to remove a door handle, whether it's interior or exterior, definitely check out that link. However, let's go ahead and open this up. Here's everything out of the package, and you got your door handle, you got the latch and lock set, and you got your keys, you got a couple screws, and a finer type thread screw and these two will actually screw into the inner handle. And you've got two options when it comes to installing this portion right here. You've got deep screws or shorter or shallower screws. In our case, we are going to use those. And from here, what we'll do is shift this part up in and position it properly, as you can see here. And it should be a perfect fit. And go ahead and secure this with those two screws. What we'll do next is separate the handles and this part right here with the locking latch will go on the inside. And what we need to do is grab this side first, lift it up in place and position this properly where the key insert is as shown. And you will carefully insert it through that little square as you can see here. And then you've got two circular rods. We'll go through the two circles in there. And I may need both hands as I shift this into place. I've shifted that door knob through and on the back side, this is what it is supposed to look like. Again, you've got that square portion slides through that square portion of the latch and then these circular bars here. That's where the screws of the opposite handle screw into and secure this handle. And with that said, we will shift this up in place and take note of the square as well as those two circles. Align it properly and you may need to hold the exterior handle with one hand as you shift this into place and secure the upper and lower screws. And I am slowly hand tightening these and then I will secure them with the screwdriver. All screws are secured and the door handles are working good. And just check the operation of your handles. And right now it is unlocked. Go ahead and lock it. And that is locked. Go ahead and unlock it. And that is unlocked. And what we'll do is close it and open it. Close it, and it will not open. Turn the handle, open it. And what I wanna do now is check the key. We are now on the exterior portion of the door. I'll open it up, close it, push it. It is secured in that latch. I will use the key to lock it now. And that is locked. We'll go ahead and unlock it. And I will test the other key. The other key works perfect. Now, this inner plate is personal preference. You can remove the old plate and install the new plate, and it looks like the previous owner painted over it. What I might do is remove those two screws, pull that plate off, and install the new one. After removing those two screws, this should just pop right out. And as I mentioned, the previous owner painted over it and painted the screw heads. And what I'm going to do is just rub the paint off the head and use the same screws. I went ahead and cleaned these screw heads and here is the new plate. And we'll go ahead and remove that from the package. And it should just be a perfect match once we slide it in place. And that's perfect. Go ahead and screw that tight with these screws. And to me, that looks a lot better than painted over but you know, personal preference. What we'll do now is test the door. Open and close, again locking. And that's a perfect fit. And DIYers, that is it. Hopefully this helps. Do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. It's starting to get a little windy out today.